One of the biggest arguments that I've heard from, from Nahid a lot is that this book is gonna break your heart. And, and it does. I found this book to be relentlessly gut-wrenching, honestly. Um, it grabs your heart and it leaves you with a lot of open wounds because for me, it ultimately raises more questions than it answers. Um, it doesn't, if, I feel like it doesn't even attempt to resolve any of the major themes it raises like gentrification, aging population, elder isolation, much of the things you just said here. And it just leaves us with the sentiment that, we, that this is a path we all must walk. I found that it didn't leave me as fulfilled as I would like my literature to. Now, have your response to that? You know, I think that that is a, a very important point. But I would say that the, the line, this is a path we must all walk, is an important one. But what really moved me in this book was that towards the end, when we realize that she has settled into this new way of life, and the days become months and the months become years, and there's this wonderful scene where she, about a year after the uh, incidents that start the book, where she's cataloging her house and starting to clean up. And to me, that is really the bit that was bittersweet, but was showing that she is, in fact, willing to move forward. And the character of the young neighbor, Chloe, really helps us see through a young person's eyes how she is able to move forward. So it's not, it's not as, uh, as, ha as happy an ending uh, as Meet Me at the Lake, for example. But I think that it does show us that even when there's bitter with the sweet, we figure out how to go forward.